Hi everyone, it's Claire at Butterfly Collection. Welcome to this week's vlog. This week I'm talking to you about uh, problems that arise out of wearing a bra band that's too big for you. You've heard me talk about this issue before and it's the reason is it's just so common and I'll be banging on about it for years to come because uh, it's just a prolific issue that uh, once we change then I won't need to talk about it anymore. But in the meantime there are problems that arise from wearing a bra band that's too big for you and I just wanted to touch on five of them today because some are obvious, some not so much and we're just going to have a quick run through them. I'm using my trusty headless model who today is in the wrong bra. The first thing you'll notice when you're wearing the wrong band size is that the angle of the band is wrong. So when you're in the right bra, you, uh, you want to have the band level at the back, the same as the front, so it's parallel all the way around your body. That's a good sign that that bra fits you and is supporting your bust, which is what it's there to do. When your bra band's too big, you tend to find that it's angled up towards the back, and you'll see that lots of ladies have their bra band up around their shoulder blades. I mean, they can get really high. And that bra is, isn't doing anything to support the weight of the bust and can actually be doing you more harm than good. So the first most common sign is when your bra band is riding up at the back, it's not doing the job properly and you want to consider coming down a band size. This riding up is what causes the rest of the problems. So the second problem, most common problem is as this band rides up, it takes with it the straps, and it's what causes straps to fall off the shoulder. This is such a common issue. I get lots of ladies saying, oh, my straps are constantly falling off. And invariably, it tends to be because the band is too loose. You know, the whole thing rides up and the, and the straps can't hold on, and so they end up being sort of popped off your shoulder. When your band's in the right place, your straps should be firm, but not digging in, and uh, they'll stay in place all day long. You know, my straps never fall off my shoulder so it's just a good sign that your band is right when your straps stay in place. The third issue is also strap related that when your straps are on your shoulder but your band isn't doing enough work then the pressure from the weight of all your bust is resting just on this tiny little area at the top and it causes your straps to dig in. They're carrying all of the weight of your bust when your band isn't doing enough work and so Either they're on your shoulders and causing you pain, or they're popping off and causing you to get annoyed. So either way, getting your band in the right place and fit is a good thing for your straps. The next thing, again, caused by the problems with adjusting that whole sh slant of that bra, is that the cups can start to spill because they can't, they're not lifted into the right place. You might find that you're spilling out of the top of your cups. You try all these different cup sizes and it's still not doing anything. And that's because it's hard to assess whether you're in the right cup when your band isn't secure. Get your band right first, and then you'll be able to see whether you've got spillage or gaping. You know, it may be a case that the cups are the correct size for you, but they're just in the wrong place. They're tipping too far forward to keep you in. So spilling cups aren't always caused by wearing too small a cup size. They're sometimes caused by your band being too big and your cups not being in the right place. The final issue is, uh, again with position, is that the wires of bras can start to poke your delicate breast tissue when they're not in the right place. If your cups are in the right place because your band is secure, your wires will be behind your breast tissue. They won't be on your breast tissue at all, and so they won't cause you any irritation. As the bra starts to move forward, the wires can start to infiltrate your delicate breast tissue and poke you in annoying places. It's painful, it's not fun, and so it's worth getting your bra banned into the right place, getting rid of some of the back there, and so that you've got a snug, comfortable fit where your cups are lifted, your straps aren't taking too much weight, and you'll get a better lift and shape all round. So there you go, those are the five most common problems caused by straps being, uh, bands being too big. The band rides up, the straps slip off, the straps can dig in, your cups can spill and tip at the front, and the wires can poke into your delicate breast tissue. So eliminate all that, it's worthwhile getting uh, the right band size. 
This week's vlog was um, about bands actually, so it's worth having a look at that one to see which band styles work out well for you. So between that and our little rundown, I hope uh, it helps you get into the right bra band for you and uh, gets you more comfortable. Hope everybody has a super weekend. I hope the weather cheers up wherever you are. It's vicious here, so I'm going to be uh, having a cup of tea and keeping my head down until the sun comes out. I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching.